Hey everybody, CW here, Card Wolf, because I'm always on the hunt for great Christmas gifts. Today we're going to be opening up some Chronicles Baseball. This is, I think, a blaster box? I don't know, there's two sizes of boxes that they put out. I think this is the blaster box, and you get some exclusive cards in here, which make it uh, very interesting. Uh, we'll go through those in a minute. First, I want to wish everyone a happy holiday. It is the day after Christmas as I am recording this, and I hope that you all had a peaceful and relaxing Christmas, or a, a really hectic and frantic one, if that's what you wanted. I hope you had the holiday you wanted, is I guess what I'm saying. Here it was uh, quite busy. We've had a, a lot of snow as well, so there have been snow blowers and shoveling the driveway and all of that good stuff on top of uh, a lot of holiday fun. But uh, today I wanted to make sure I took time and, and made a video and, and said hello to all of you and I, I hope you're enjoying the, the holidays and the time off and uh, some good football games on yesterday and today, so I hope you're partaking of those. And uh, just uh, all around enjoying yourself in whatever way you want to. So let's get into this uh, Chronicles box. We'll get uh, Mr. Kershaw here to help us open this one up. And as always, please practice good knife safety. Keep those out of the hands of small ones. And uh, let's see what we have in here today. This is a Chronicles box that has four Revolution inserts, including two Blaster exclusive Groove Parallels. The roof parallels more or less look like that, and they are pretty cool cards, honestly. I, I really like those a lot. Um, and four Blaster exclusive building block parallels and a variety of rookies. And so let's get on into this. As always, I complain publicly about the lack of uh, football cards that I have been finding at the local uh, stores just cannot find uh, recent football cards hoping to uh, remedy that situation and see some new product come in after Christmas maybe this coming week I'll find something and if not I've got lots of other stuff to open you can look for some upcoming uh, vintage getting open you can look for some uh, more baseball I've got in the on deck circle as it were and uh, I've, I've got some other some other interesting stuff we could open up. Got some uh, packages in from some online purchases I made. No collections this time, but some uh, some smaller lots or single cards. I could always open them up on the channel and we could uh, see if you think I got a good deal on those. That's always fun. The, the uh, small collection I opened with my nephew Jer the other day, I've gotten sort of mixed reviews on. Some people say that I got a good idea or a good deal and other people say I did not get such a great deal. So. It's always good to get feedback on, though, and I, I very much appreciate that. Here's Braylon Marquez to start us off in the first pack, and that is a rookie card. Nice to see that. And here is Garrett Crochet, another rookie, and this is, uh, well, this isn't a, I don't think this is an insert. I think this is just a special foil of some kind. Yeah, Chronicles Elite and Rick Rydart, and that's also a rookie card, so see what else we have here. Another rookie card. Kohei Ahara. Arihara. Kohei Arihara. And that is a, a cool foily rookie card. I think that is a some sort of... that is a Chronicles Crusade. And here is one of the inserts. That's a nice uh, Revolutions uh, foil. And that's Nick Madrigal. And that is also a rookie. And Nick Madrigal, that's a pretty good one. I don't mind having that one. I'll maybe put that in the wolf layer. I, I just like the the looks of those cards anyway. I think that the, uh, the Revolution Groove cards are, are really quite nice. You can see that uh, reflecting in the uh, light there. And I'll put that over by my trusty card wolf. Get into this second pack and see what we have here. All right, start us off with Alex Kuriloff. Not so bad. That's a good rookie to find. I like that one. I'll put that in the Wolf Lair as well. Dylan Carlson, also a rookie card. Andrew Vaughn, another Crusade rookie for us. Fernando Tatis Jr., not bad. I think that's the first non-rookie card we've gotten in the two packs we've opened, but that's a pretty good one to get. And Aaron Judge is the card on the back, and that foil is a little bit different than the other one we got. This is also a, a Revolution, however. They both say Revolution. This one's uh, sort of gold and uh, 
little bit different, but a nice card nonetheless. Aaron Judge, always nice to get one of those. Get into this third pack, see how we do. We start off with uh, an Elite Chronicle, and that's Ryan Weathers, also a rookie card there, not too bad. And Fernando Tatis Jr., that's a pinnacle. And that is, uh, it seems like the only non-rookies we're going to get are Fernando Tatis Jr., which I'm okay with. How, about, how do you feel about that? Seems good to me. Here's one of the Overdrive cards, and those are really pretty. I like those. That's uh, Ronald Acuna Jr., and that's also not a rookie. So maybe it's just people with Jr. in their names. That's the only non-rookies we'll get today, Juniors. Another overdrive, and this is a special rookie card overdrive of Rookie of the Year, Jonathan India. I've had the best luck, i got to tell you. If you've watched some of my other videos, you know, just in the past few weeks or so, I have had the best luck pulling Jonathan India cards. It is crazy, I tell you. And this is a nice one, too. A nice overdrive rookie card of Jonathan India. That is not numbered, but it is a prism. Really sweet card. Happy to have that one in the uh, Wolf Lair. And then another revolution. This is Taylor Walls, and that is also a rookie card. Get my thumb out of the way there. We can see that. Taylor Walls, pretty good rookie to find there. And here's the last pack from the uh, Chronicles Blaster. And this one, i got to tell you, it feels a little thicker, like we might have a memorabilia card in here. I think we do. How's that look? All right, we'll switch these up. So that is the last card, and we'll start with uh, Tanner Halk. And that's a rookie card as well. Titan. Another Titan, and that is Fernando Tatis Jr. What did we get, three of those out of this box? That's pretty crazy. If any of you are big collectors of Fernando Tatis Jr., you can uh, tell me what you think of these. Which one was your favorite pull that we got? And here's, uh, oh, here's Ichiro. Very cool. That is also one of the Revolution cards, and that's a neat one to find. Ichiro. All right, so uh, we got one more card here before what looks like it might be a uh, memorabilia card of some kind, and that is Randy Arizarina. Also not a rookie, that's certified. And then uh, let's see what we have back here. We're going to flip it like we did last time, where we just flipped the whole thing over. And that is Eloy Jimenez. And that's not a... Um, it is a mem card, uh, but that's not a rookie, I don't think. And it is also not numbered. But uh, that's a pretty cool Chronicles mem card. I like that one. Uh, and of course all of these, uh, these are often thick, but they are not often memorabilia cards, so that's pretty neat. I'm trying to see down the side there to see if that's, nope, that's just the, the swatch there is stuck right there like that. That's not, I was hoping it was a two-color swatch, but it's not. All right, but not bad though. We pulled, uh, quite a few rookies out of there. I lost count, honestly. What did we pull, like a dozen or more rookies out of there? And we pulled a mem card, and we got a couple that are going to go into my PC. We got, uh, Nick Madrigal and... Alex Kirilov and Jonathan India, Rookie of the Year in uh, the National League there. So, not a bad box overall. I, I feel pretty good about that. And, you know, I usually, I think I've said before, I usually avoid the Panini Baseball product because it's not licensed, they can't use the logos or any of that stuff. But the more of it that I open, the more I like it, i got to tell you. I, I think they do just such a quality product, and I really do like the Chronicles because there's so much variety in the type of card you get. It's just a lot of fun to open up and, and see other people open too. And I, I hope you enjoyed seeing that today and that uh, my little Christmas tree off to the side here didn't give you some sort of a seizure. It, it is really blinking like crazy. I didn't realize it would blink quite that much. In any event, I hope you're having a, a great holiday weekend and that you're getting to spend it the way you want to. And that's what matters most, I think, for, for all of us. I, I know once again, 2021 was kind of a difficult year for some of us, and there's another surge of COVID going around, and I know some of us have made difficult decisions about who we're going to see this holiday and who we're not. And I appreciate you checking into the channel and seeing me and, and enjoying some time opening cards with me. I've got some more videos, some good openings planned for you, and if you like this kind of content, I hope you'll subscribe to the channel and give these videos a like and leave a comment. Let me know what you think and uh, I'll uh, look for you next time. Again, have a great holiday weekend and as always, happy collecting.